What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to enter and exit a vehicle. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Okay, so what I have done is basically imported the normal vehicle template, so you can just go to add, uh, add feature content pack and go ahead and import the vehicle template. Now of course, if you have your own uh, car, vehicle, whatever, uh, from the marketplace or that you made yourself you can use that I'm just using this template because it's just easier So if you want to go ahead and use the same one you can just go and add it to the product All right, so go ahead and just drag the car into the scene. So in my case is this sports car So let me go ahead and drag it to the scene now. Of course when I press play Nothing will happen as I am you know, with the uh, third person game mode So I will spawn a third person character and also this car you know isn't possessed if i were to go ahead and go into these details and then uh, the auto possessed player set to zero i can now go ahead and drive it now this is not what we want we want it so that when our player third person character is near it we press e for example or any key and we now enter into the car and we move it and then we press e and then we go out okay so that's what we want to do let's go ahead and implement all that so let's go ahead and open our third person character blueprint or of course any character blueprint that you're using and um, what we want to do is actually, first of all, open the car blueprint, actually. So go ahead and select it, go into Ctrl-E, and it will open the blueprint. Or you can manually go into the Ctrl browser and open it. So what we want to do is basically a radius that when the you know, player enters, we can detect its keys and input, and then therefore we can possess this vehicle over here. So we want to go ahead and add a uh, box collision. <coughs> And then it's going to be the radius, all right. And now we want to change the box extent, so it's a bit bigger. And then we go higher. Of course, you can customize it. I use one. This is the zone that the player will be able to hop in. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Let's compound save. So now we can close this and go back into our third person character. Let's go ahead and make sure that when we press E, we will be able to get into the car. So. What to do is make it a for each loop. So basically, we want to go through all the objects that we are get overlapping actors. So we want to basically get all of the objects that we are right now overlapping. Which in our case is gonna be if we are inside that radius, it's gonna, we're gonna be overlapping. Now make sure in the car blueprint that the radius is set the collision preset set to overlap all dynamic. Okay. All right. So now you can put a put a class filter. For example, you can put the sports car just in case you only want to detect the sports car. In our case, we just want to detect the sports car. So now we want to go ahead and cast into its blueprint. So let's go ahead and find the BP sports car once again, or however it's uh, named. <coughs> and then we want to loop over here. Now you can do a for each loop with a break. The first one that you find, you then break the loop, but it doesn't really matter. And now what we want to do is get the player controller. And now we want to call this very handy node, which is possess. So now we can go ahead and say that the new actor that we want to possess is going to be this car over here that we just found. Now, possess is basically the unreal way of just saying control. So we're going to basically control that vehicle instead of our third person character blueprint. And we need to access it, you know, via the play controller. So now if actually I just press play, I can you know, go with my uh, third person character but when i get into this area that of course later on you can add a widget pop up that will say hey you can press e to enter so now when i press e you will see that now i am actually in the car and i can enter and drive the car so everything is working as we want now the thing that we want to change is that well <coughs> we now want to exit the car now if you just take a look you will see that the third person character is still there but it just wait in there until it's controlled again it's just we just left it there and we're not controlling it so i think that we want to do is go ahead and simulate that you know it's inside the car so first of all before we actually we can do it after so right after we possess the new car we want to get this actually what did we just uh, before so we want to go ahead and set the visibility to be false now let's go ahead drag set visibility and then there's a lot of um, options in here, but we can just do a general set actor hidden in the game and then set it to true. So now the the third person character will be in the scene, but hidden. So now 
if I press E, you can see that it's disabled, so it is like if we we're inside a car. Now, if you want to get more advanced, you can then play an animation of hopping in and add a, you know, a, a replacement model inside the car, like driving. But of course, I'm not gonna cover that. Now, if you wanna see it, you can leave me in the comments and I'll note it down for a future tutorial. All right, so uh, another thing that you might want to do is to disable the collisions, but uh, you know, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Let's go ahead and double click over here so we can make this a bit better by not you know, going through the node. All right, so now we can compound save. So that's all done for the third person character. Now we want to hop out. So we want to do this in the car because it's the one that we are currently uh, controlling. So again, we want to, for example, get out with the key, E key. We go here <coughs> when we press E. So <coughs> the thing that we want to do is go ahead and find our player so there's a very handy node which is get actors of class and then we can just get one so get actor of class i want to get our third person character so basically look through all the um actors in the scene until it finds uh one third person character which is our player so once uh it has actually found our player we want to go ahead and possess it so let's go here and actually you know set the visibility Set actor hidden again to be disabled, so now we can see it again. And now we want to get again the get player controller. And you see this, this is very very basic. And now it's basically what we did before, but in person. Now we want to go ahead and get uh, and control this third person character instead of the other one. And now you will see that. Well, there we go. <coughs> Compound save. Uh, we can now go in here, press play. I can control my third person character, I go into the vehicle, press E, I can drive it, and then when I press E again, I get outside the car, and I'm controlling my third person character, but not the car. So we only have one more thing left, which is placing the character, you know, right outside of the car, because not it's gonna be like miles away, you know, and that's not what we want. So what we have to do is go into the viewport, and what I suggest doing is create a new uh, position socket. So we want to add a new component, it's going to be an arrow, and it's going to be our player out, uh, let's put space out pause. It's going to be the position that the player will exit, so we can now get this out, <clears throat> and then we want to maybe elevate this a bit. Now we'll see how, you know, once you have the player, we'll experiment with it. Now the thing you can do is add a scale to mesh, it's going to be the, like the, um, can just reset the position and you can put uh, for example i was using queen in the example so i can just use queen and then i can rotate this 90 degrees <clears throat> and then we can preview how it will exit uh, the car as you can see so actually we might need to take it down uh, but maybe a bit up so it doesn't collide with the floor um you know this is just testing over here so basically we'll exit now <clears throat> maybe you want to also control this a bit outside the radius just in case you press e and then instantly again but you know We'll see what happens. Now, uh, we want to go here and set it to be hidden in game because we want to preview. This is just to preview us, you know, uh, to add it better and see which position we exit. And then make sure that the uh, it has the collisions uh, set to none. So no collision in the skull to mesh. All right, so now we can go into the Venn graph. And what we can do is right before we possess it again, we will get that specific actor and then set the uh, transform. Transform and then we want to set the actor transform. So basically, we'll set the position and the rotation. So we want to go ahead and right click and split it so we have the individual um, axis and points. And then we want to get the player out pause, yeah, get weld uh, transform, and then we want to go ahead and right click and split. So we want to plug in our location and rotation. Now the scale we wanted to keep it the same okay and then you can put to port if you want uh this just make that for example it has like physics on it they will not jiggle on like if you have like cloth on it will not like uh, shake a lot like if it's moved super quick it's just like it has actual teleport and you will see once you if you have cloth take it on all right so now if i compound save you will see that when i press play <coughs> I go here so i will be in my car in here in this specific point but when i move with my car 
and then now I exit now I am right next to the car so that's it guys if you found my tutorial useful I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials so this one so if you want to go ahead check them out join my discord server and join all my socials such as Twitter and Instagram and now yes with all I said like and subscribe remember <laughs> and bye bye